Hello guys, in this lecture we will be studying what is Algamal crypto system. So suppose we are sending, suppose uh, we take two profiles that is Alais and Bob. Suppose Alais is sending a message to Bob and we need to encrypt that message. So what Bob will do, he will generate one public key in the form of P, Alpha and Beta. Tell you, there will be some of the parameters and there will be a private key which he, which he will generate and that will be only a. Now, what Bob will do? Bob will, you know, uh, this Bob will produce this publicly. This key, it will share to all the people around the world, and it will share this public key to allies as well. So allies will have this P alpha and beta. So what is P? What is alpha? And what is beta? P will be any any large prime or any small prime. You can say, as the uh, prime value will be large, it will be you know very very much difficult for intruder to decrypt the message. So, if you take P as very large, it will be very uh, difficult for the intruder. So, so in this example, we will be taking P as 11. Now, what is alpha? It will be generator of ZP. What is ZP? ZP star, I mean. It is a cyclic group in which there will be terms in terms of ZP minus 0. 0 is exclusive actually. Okay. So, this, was, this is a general idea about Alkamal crypto system. Now let's do the example over here. Now as we know that Bob shares this P alpha and beta to allies. So uh, now we'll be doing the encryption. First we'll find what is beta. Beta will be alpha rest to A mod P. So what is alpha? Alpha we have is 2. What is A? A is 5 and what is P? P is 11. So that will be 32 mode 11. So that will be 10. So we got beta as 10. Now for encryption we will be dividing into two parts that is y1 and y2. So what will be y1? We have y1 as alpha raised to k mode P and y2 as x into beta raised to k mod p so what is y1 y1 equals to alpha is 2 2 raised to k that is 4 mod 11 that is p and this will be x is uh, 7 7 into what is beta we got 10 10 raised to 4 mod 11 so what will be y1 y1 will be 5 2 raised to 4 that is 16 16 mod 11 that is 5 and y2 will be 7 so calculate it yourself now this is what we did as an encryption c is this is ciphertext which we divided into two parts that is y1 and y2 so this was all about encryption now let's do decryption of and yeah, one thing this 7 we, we took that is a plain text. So uh, we, uh, you know, interpret this 7 as y1 and y2, which is a part of ciphertext that is 5 and 7. All right, so this will be sent to the Bob, and Bob will decrypt this message using the private key. So now let's decrypt this message. So for decryption of this message, we have the formula d equals to y2 into y1 raised to p minus 1 minus a mod p. And ciphertext we got as 5 and 7, alright. So this was y2 and this was y1. So this is y2, so that is 7 and here it is 5 raised to, what is p? p is 11. 11 minus 1 minus a that is mod 11 so 10 minus 10 minus 2 that is sorry a is 5 so 11 minus 1 that is 10 and 10 minus 5 is 5 so 7 into 5 raised to 5 mod 11 so it will be something about the answer will be so this was the decryption of the original message we have sent that was 7 so what we did basically is we we were having a public and private key which was generated by Bob 
as we have sent the message from Elias to Bob. All right. So Bob, uh, Bob generated uh, two keys that is public key and private key, which he you know public key he shared to the Elias, and Elias you know interpreted that message in terms of Y1 and Y2, which we found out that is five and seven, and using that five and seven, we decrypted that the message and we got the answer as seven, which we earlier interpreted that was seven. So this was all about Algamal crypto system and thanks for watching.